Hello, I'm Adrian, and today I want to kick off what might become a new series of lick based videos. And I used to do quite a lot of this kind of thing, but I've not done so for a while. And the idea is I'm going to play you a nice lick and then we're going to learn it together. So pretty high concept stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. And the licks are going to be just whatever happens to be on my mind at the time. So they could be easy, they could be hard, they could be from any style of music. They might be licks of my own, they might be licks that I've ripped off from other people. So without any further ado, let's check out the first lick. Blimey, that was a nice lick. Let's learn it. So this is a lick I came up with the other day and what I like about it is its use of open strings and string skipping to create a nice cascading and unpredictable sound. It's largely based on the E minor pentatonic scale, though there's a C sharp note in there as well. So that hints at kind of an E Dorian type of sound, though you don't need to worry too much about that. It's basically going to work over an E minor chord, an E minor seven chord, you could also try it over an E major chord or an E7 chord in more of a blues kind of context. So I'm going to take you through the notes to start with then. I'm also going to talk about the picking hand as well and the different ways that you could articulate this lick. So we're going to kick off on the low E string and we've got the open low E. Going to hammer on to the second fret and then slide up to the third fret. Then we've got our first string skip. We're moving over to the D string and we're fretting the D string at the second fret and then pulling off to the open D. Then we've got A4, then another string skip over to the G string and we've got the second fret pulling off to the open G string. So that's the first bar of the lick. Then we're quickly shifting up to the 5th position, we've got the 7th fret on the D string, then we're skipping again to the B string, 5th fret, pulling off to the open B. Then we've got, really got the same shape moved over to the next pair of strings, we've got 7th fret on the G, and then we're skipping to the high E, 5th fret, pulling off to open. Then we've got 8 on the B, and then an open high E. Uh, then we're onto the G string, and we've got a slide. I'm doing this with the first finger. I'm sliding from 7 to 9, and then back again. And I've got 9 on the D, then 7 on the D, and I'm just giving that a little bend and release. It's probably about a 1 fret or a, a semitone bend there. Then I've got 10 on the A, and then sliding from 7 to 5 on the A, and then 7 on the A, and an open low E string to finish off. And then I think I just played some harmonics at the 5th fret, that's just the 5th fret on the, the G, B and E, just playing some natural harmonics. So that's the basic idea of the lick, I'm just going to play that for you very slowly. We've got... Let's talk about the picking hand. You've got a couple of options here. When I played it um, earlier, I was using hybrid picking, so pick and then the middle finger of my picking hand. And I think that works really well for a, a lick like this where you've got lots of string skipping going on. So the, the way I play the lick would be like this. I'd pick down on the low E string, and then with my finger, I play the D string. So it's pick, finger, 
and then pick and another note with the middle finger and it's really the same idea we've got a picked note and then a finger note and then again and then again and then the remainder of the lick I think I'd play with the pick really well for a lick like this and you can just add a little bit of a snap with your middle finger for that kind of country chicken picking type sound. But if you're not into hybrid picking you could just as easily do it with all pick. Uh, in that case I think I'd pick down and then for the string skip I'd be picking up so it would be going down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it really doesn't matter which approach you use for that, it's just a slightly different vibe depending on whether you hybrid pick or whether you go all with the pick. So this is hybrid picking. And then all pick. to you which you choose then. So technically I think this lick is quite challenging, there's lots of string skipping, there's a quick position shift, there's the hybrid picking to contend with, so I'm just going to give you my usual advice there which is to take it slowly to start with, make sure everything is in place technically and then gradually build up speed. Rhythmically speaking the lick is quite simple, it's mainly just all eight notes, so I'm just going to count you through the rhythm of this one. And we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three so you can hear all eight notes until it gets towards the end just here that note there, the, the, the bent note is just held half a beat longer, so that's one and two and three and four and one and then just some quarter notes for the final bar. So that's the end of the first instalment of Nice Lick, Let's Learn It and uh, if I were filming this in front of a live studio audience I would say Nice Lick and then the audience could say Let's Learn It. Um, but for now I just have to imagine that happening. I hope you enjoy learning this lick. Um, if you've got any more suggestions for future licks then let me know. It could be a particular style of lick that you'd like to see, it could be a specific lick that you've got in mind, so let me know and preferably it will be something fairly concise that would uh, be doable in a short video like this one. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.